Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. I'm standing in front of Drift. He's a 2011 Volvo Model 730 and I've received a question from Mark and Don in Georgia. Don would like to see how the passenger netting works in the back of these sleepers. Uh, drift behind me, believe it or not, he was completely uncovered of snow yesterday. We've managed to get about six inches of snow overnight and through the day today. Give me a couple of minutes here, I'll brush them off and I'll show you how that passenger restraining netting works in the back of the sleeper. Right, we're up inside a drift. And there's our rear workstation. The benches and table made up. What I'll do, I'll put the camera down and I'll show you how the netting works. To put the bed down, it's easiest if you flip the two cushions up and pull the handle underneath. Table goes down. And what we have is, it's like a cargo netting. <clears throat> it's designed to keep a sleeping driver laying down here from rolling forward in the event of hitting the brakes hard. So this netting clips into the back wall. And it clips into some snaps down here. And then there are these clips that go up to the sides. And what it does is it keeps the netting arched so that it wouldn't be laying on top of the passenger and bothering them while they're sleeping. And it's pretty taut. <clears throat> but you see that the majority of the space is closed in. So while you're driving, you can lay down on top of that bed and sleep and not be afraid of tumbling out in the event of a hard break. Now the upper bunk has the same kind of netting system. I've already put it in place for you. So this one goes from, as you can see, it's clipped up in the ceiling. It's got the same supports to bow it out, make sure it doesn't go on the sleeping passenger. But there's the upper bunk netting. On the topic of microwaves, here's a nice new stainless LG. I like the stainless ones because the it goes well with the silver gray that's inside these trucks for trim. And the door opens all the way to 90 degrees. There are very few, what I try to do is I want to get the largest microwave, you know, that fits in this opening, left to right. Um, you know, make it usable. I want to make sure you can get a full-size plate in there. And the issue with these microwaves is that we've got this curvature of the cabinet here. So this microwave has to sit on... A, a, a raised platform so I can get a nice big one inside there. Really, you know, this little space up here is wasted space anyway, so I'm not afraid to put it up there a little bit higher. And it's held in with a strap. You can see there's a rubber uh, piece that goes underneath, so that's pretty stiff in there. And around the other cubby behind the driver's side, this is where we'll sometimes put either a flat panel TV, there's a good support for mounting it here, it's very firm, uh, or we'll put our Keurig coffee pot in there. Uh, the plug-in for it is down this hole, so you put the cable down through there, pull out this drawer, and it's right in the back there, there it is, so the cords kind of get kept out of the way. So you're also curious about the space that we had back here on the bench. And if I put my 
my elbow towards the back wall. You know, I'm, I'm not against it too hard. Um, there is a good spot here for someone else to sit as well. I will say the, the supports for the table are right underneath my right leg here. So my leg is up against this wall a bit. And a lot of people will tend to do is sit this way. So when I sit this way, I'm looking out my front window. You know, I can also see out my side window that's here. So anyways, that's the layout of the back seats and how those pieces of netting work. If you have any questions, you know, our website is www.rvhaulers.ca. If you have any questions please contact us and I'd be happy to make a video or show you any of the details inside these pretty nice Volvo sleepers. Thanks for watching.